So we have done, you know, four um, transplants, two pig kidneys, two pig hearts, um, in, in people who are whole body donors, uh, who are brain dead. And, but they were for very short periods of time, two to three days. Um, we learned a lot from that. But we knew that really, um, in order to, 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 to really have a big impact and to get xenotransplantation closer to being a clinical reality, we needed a much longer period of observation. They're on the plane. So we're hoping that the decedent work is going to kind of supercharge things and get us to that point where, you know, the FDA feels that we've answered these questions and, and we're ready to, you know, do the, the first living human trials. His renal function will be completely dependent on the, the xenotransplant, so there, there won't be any confusion about where the urine is coming from. It was also, I think, emotional. It's, we've, been, we've been preparing for that day in this setting for this procedure for so long. To finally be able to do that was, was just really exciting be able to open up the box and give the kidney to Dr. Montgomery was, was great. Bob, where do you want to grab this from? You want to just grab What kind of solution did you use? Okay, let's bring it this way. This, this way here. Pretty looking kidney. It even looks better than a human kidney, I think. I think so, too. It immediately started making urine, which is an extraordinary thing, because you're standing there. The kidney, you know, you take the clamps off, and the human blood comes into the pig kidney, turns this beautiful pink color. Um, and then a couple of minutes later, urine starts squirting out of the ureter. It's crazy. You know, it, I, I, I never get tired of seeing that. We got urine. Thank you, everybody. Everything that you would normally look at in a uh, post-renal transplant patient we're looking at, and then we've expanded things on top of that. It's huge. That's it's what beautiful. we have for, for okay. That's what we were going to get for the name? And yeah. then, and then. So we're trying to maximize how much information we can get. Okay, so these are two fragments of biopsy tissue. No inflammatory cells okay. filled inside. So a lot of the groundwork we did in the 72-hour models really was formative for us to be able to do this long term. For now today's 14. 14. We're at two wow. weeks now. Two weeks. <laughs> wow. Right now our protocol is till 28, but if things are continuing to go well, wow. then we may try to extend longer. Wow. Wow. Hey. How are you? So we're three weeks into the one-month study. Um, and things have gone extraordinarily well. Um, the kidney functioned immediately. And, and how about urine output? And All right, so that looks good, Billius. And, and there's no two It's. I think it's given everybody a real renewed sense that this is going to be our reality in the future, and it's going to be great.